Hi, my name is Kaylin Kim, and this is the story of the Ballet Point Shoe. Ballet was created in the courts of Europe in the 1730s by Paris opera ballet dancer Marie Camargo. The 1820s through 1830s was the dawn of the Romantic ballerinas. In 1823, the Italian dancer Amalia Brugnoli introduced point work to audiences, surprising them with rising up to her tippy toes. Amalia inspired another dancer of the time named Marie Taglioni to practice the technique. In 1832, Marie was the first to dance a full-length ballet performance in point shoes. In the 1870s through 1890s, Italian-made dance shoes set the standard for point ballet performances. Italian shoemakers developed reinforced point shoes with stiff boxes made from newspaper, flower paste, and pasteboard. The shoe's cardboard insoles were reinforced with leather. In 1905, Anna Pavlova created the shoe brand Capizio because she was a dancer who had very high and unstable arches. Her company shoes were made by the Metropolitan Opera shoemaker named Salvatore Capizio, which is how the brand got its name. Pavlova helped bring point shoes into the modern era of the 1930s by creating point shoes with a very rounded toe and a narrow band. In the 1980s, the purpose of the ballet point shoe was to serve as the dancer's narrative. Dancing on tippy toes meant the dancer was no longer mortal. She was immortal, a supernatural being such as a fairy. This decade was also the emergence of popular ballets we still know today that were created by George Balanchi. In 1993, Gaynor Minden launched a new type of point shoe that was inspired by the shock absorption found in athletic footwear. The foot needed room to expand and contract to allow the shoe to act as a spring when dancing on tippy toe. Recently, the smart ballet shoe has been invented. The shoes feature sensors on the bottom that can record the pressure and movement of the dancer's feet and send the data to a mobile device. Through the eChasers app, dancers can watch back a visual animation of their performance depicted as a line traveling through space. I love ballet because of its influence on cinema. The merging of ballet and cinema has allowed dance to influence acting, as well as the overall style of films that are centered around it. The first ballet film was made in 1925 by French director Alice Guy Blanche. The film is called The Dying Swan and is performed by Louis Fuller. She portrays the white swan from Swan Lake. This was also one of the first films to capture movement and light. Another one of my favorite films is The Red Shoes 1948, directed by Michael Powell and Emmerich Pressburger. The message of the film in Michael Powell's memoir is to go and die for art. This film showed how cinema could fusion music, dance, and image together. This is called composed cinema. In conclusion, the reason point shoes are considered technology is because they were created in the early 20th century. Ballet point shoes are doing the same thing for ballerinas that new technologies did for remaking the way people lived, worked, and played. Point shoes have transformed the way dancers perform by making them appear weightless.